Hey there everyone, Max at ePianos here, back with another video on the Yamaha DGX670. Today, we've got an exciting one. I'm gonna take you through my top three favorite piano voice combinations. That's quite a mouthful. But basically, I'm a pianist at heart and I wanted to make three different voice combinations that really show off uh, this piano's ability in terms of its different voices. Um, so we're gonna be layering different instruments with that and we're going to be putting different instruments together to really complement the sounds and see what we can, can come up with and then I'm going to show you how you can make the most of those sounds playing different pieces. So here we go. The first piano voice is, it's the, the main voice is the CFX Grand which is the first piano you come to when you turn the piano on and then the layered voice will be the strings pad. Okay so we're starting with the main voice, the CFX Grand. You want to press enter and it will be on the first page right at the top there of the piano and e-piano voice category so if you haven't found it click that and then go to page one so scroll across and it's right there at the top and you click there i've already made this so i'm going to go on to my already saved voice so we can look at the settings so once you're hovering over it you want to press voice set which will be on the fifth column along and it's the bottom button. Let's click that. Okay, so now these are the settings that I've altered for the CFX Grand. So try your best to mimic these. So what I've done is I've put the volume up to 122. I put the depth up to 68. The offset, I believe, was 64 in the first place, so I didn't touch that. And the left, that's for if we were using a left voice as well, which we're not going to. And the main slash layer, <coughs> that basically means you can put the the voice up an octave or down an octave if you desire to but we're going to leave that one the same okay and then if we come to we're going to skip the second um, voice set page we leave this one as it is just because that's more for the sustain pedals the um, the middle pedal okay and then we go to the sound page here okay and I, I put the brightness down to minus four. The harmonic content I raised up to six. The attack and the decay I left at zero. And the release I put up to seven. And then if we go across again, you want to press this tab right arrow here, just above the master wheel. Um, I didn't actually touch too much here. I could We could have had the DSP on, the depth, uh, but I chose to take it off because I felt that the strings covered that kind of area for you and then harmony we leave that one the same as well okay so not too much going on but it had a really nice effect especially when you pair it up with the strings then what you want to do once you've changed all this you want to press save there so it's the bottom button on the eighth column okay and then you press save again bottom button on the sixth column and then you name it how you want I called mine CFX Grand Max <laughs> because that is my name and then you press OK and then it will save and then if you come out you press exit now if you go back into it and if you want to find it and you're like oh where's the voice i just made i can't find it well you want to be in the user tab not the preset tab so simply just click tab arrow right there it is cfx grand max that's our voice that we've just made okay and then now what we do is we're going to make another voice we're going to layer it on top and we i've chosen the strings pad voice the way to get a layered voice if you come over here and look here you'll see uh, there's a button here <laughs> that says layer so it will be off like that you want to click it and it will light orange um, and now you've got a second voice that will play at the same time as your first voice so we come back over to the screen and scroll over here same process so click enter and just so you know you'll find strings pad it will be if you click strings and choir here strings and choir you click that and then strings pad is on the first page it's the third one down so you want to click that but again obviously i've already saved mine so i'm going to go straight into my one that i've already saved which is just here okay now you want to go voice set same process we'll go back to the first page here okay so here's what we did then uh, so the volume put to 87 because I wanted it to sit nicely underneath the piano, so I've allowed the piano to be quite a lot 
uh, louder. The depth we put to 22. The offset we've raised up to 76. Now, if you remember me saying I, I didn't touch the offset on the uh, on the piano, the main voice, we left that at 64 because I wanted the strings to be more punchy and to kind of shine through when you really press hard on the keys. It had a really nice effect. And these two we left the same again. Okay, so 87 for the volume, 55 for the depth, 76 for the offset. <clears throat> Leave this one the same because it's all to do with the center pedal. And then we're on to the sound. What you'll find throughout this video is that the main pages that we use is common sound and effect slash EQ. Okay, so the brightness of these strings, we put up to number eight, harmonic content to 11, attack we left at zero, decay we raise up to four and release to number eight. So again, we haven't done a dramatic amount of difference here, but it's those small details that really count in the long run. When you're, when you're properly playing the piece, you can really hear these small details uh, stand out. So then you press tab right, and it will take you to effect slash EQ. We're gonna turn the reverb depth up to 50, the chorus depth up to 12, and the DSP we turn on with the depth at 34. And that is it. And then you obviously wanna save it again. Same process, save it what you like. I've called it strings pad max again. And then it will be saved in your user tab <coughs> over here. So here's your, here's the normal voices and you wanna go tab right and there it is on the user pad. Okay, so that is our first piano voice combination. We've gone for the CFX grand and we put the strings pad and we've layered the strings pad voice, sorry, on top of the grand. Okay, so you may be wondering, what can we use this voice combination for? Like, what makes it really sound good? What really brings out its potential? And I found the big dramatic pieces, the, you know, the fearsome, dramatic, moving pieces really uh, played a good part uh, for this voice combination. Um, I mean, who doesn't want to sound like a whole entire orchestra when they're literally just sitting here like me with their headphones on? No one else can hear them. <laughs> it's quite amazing what Yamaha have done. So we want to use that to its full potential. And a song I like that really, I feel, shows this off is a part that I've taken from Rachmaninoff's number two, movement three. So have a listen and see what you think.
Okay, so I hope that piece gave you a bit of an idea of, as to what you can do with uh, that first voice combination there. Um, let me know what you came up with. Um, that'd be great. So we're on to the second piano voice now. This is, we're going with the ambient piano and to complement it with the layered voice is going to be the smooth time which is an electric keyboard. Okay, so if you have a look at the screen here, it says ambient piano, so the way to find that is you go on to piano and e-piano. Ambient piano is just on the first page right there, third one down on the second column. So we're going to go into that. Now I'm going to go into my one that's already saved here, okay. And then you want to go into the voice set. Okay, from the first page. Now here's what we did, okay. So I put the volume right up to 124. The depth I put to 67. And the last three I left as they came. We go over to the sound tab now. The brightness is at minus two. Harmonic content at seven. Attack I left at zero. Decay at 19. And release at 13. So we put quite a bit of decay and release on there, compared to the last voice anyway. Um, which gave it a really nice uh, effect, definitely. You've got to remember this is already an ambient piano, so Yamaha have already done their own effects to this anyway, uh, which gives it a really nice kind of watery feel, if you know, if that makes sense. Um, but you'll, you'll understand more of that when, when I play the piece for you afterwards. So if we go to the effects and EQ uh, page, we've got quite a lot of reverb depth here at 72 and chorus depth at 39 and it, now this is optional um, I put the depth at 52 but I've turned it off because I found that it sounds really nice but once you go over about 30 on the depth there's a bit of an echo um, and for this I didn't like that because I felt that the the electric keyboard the smooth time which is the layered voice we're about to add um, did that did enough of that for you Okay, so then you want to go ahead and save, just as you did in the last one. Okay, so for the layered voice, we've gone with smooth time. So if you click piano and electric piano, and come to the screen, scroll along, keep scrolling, and it is on the third page. It's the third one down there. Okay, so you want to go into that. Now mine's already pre-saved so I'm going to head into my my one okay so voice set from the first page here we are okay so this is quite interesting here I put the volume up to 112 which is quite loud and you may think wouldn't that drown out the piano wouldn't it clash a little bit well this is where the clever part comes in <laughs> so the depths are 81 and the offsets are 58 then if we head over to the sound tab We've got the brightness up to 28, the harmonic content to 42, the attack at 24. Now, because I put that attack up, it means it takes a while for the electric piano to actually be heard. It kind of comes in a bit more powerfully afterwards. Um, and that's where the clever bit is. And then there's quite a bit of decay on there, 29, and the release is at seven. And I think this has a really nice feel to it um, as it kind of swells in. Um, after a few seconds once you play the notes and if you hold the notes in and it depends on how hard you press the notes then the electric piano the smooth time will will follow you and it will sound pretty epic in my opinion and we go to the next page we've got the reverb depth at 93 the chorus depth at 106 so yep that's a lot going on there and we've turned the dsp on with the depth right the way up to 127 um, so i whacked on a whole load of effects and filters for this but because of that attack, it takes a while to swell in. Um, and I actually noticed there's a bit of tremolo going on. It kind of bounces between your ears uh, when you play this. So if you, if you can play with headphones, then I would recommend that. And then you want to save it. Don't forget to save. Same process as usual. And then that is it.
Okay, so as you just heard there, um, a bit of a crazy kind of combination we've got going on, but it seems to work really nice when playing those nice relaxed chords. Um, and I also just wanted to play one actual piece for you, uh, which I think complements this uh, voice combination. So have a listen to this. This is Nouvelle Bianca by Ludovico Einaudi. I'm just going to play a part of it. Um, but have a listen to how the voice sounds. I think it really shines through in this song. So it's an interesting one, but I think you can really make something of it if you kind of explore with those creative sounds. I hope you enjoy that one. Okay, so now we're on to the third and final piano-based voice combination. Here we've got the warm grand piano and we've layered the orchestral flute on top. So come and have a look and this is how we made it. Okay, so for the main voice, we have the warm grand, so if you click piano and e-piano, the warm grand, if you scroll along to the, just keep going, here it is on the fourth page right at the bottom there. So on the fourth page, right at the bottom corner there. And then you wanna head into voice set, and obviously mine's pre-saved, so just give me a moment, there we go. So. Select voice grand and voice set there. And the first page, common. 
Okay, so the volume is set to 104, depth at 82, the offset, the left and the main slash layer, we've left it as, as it is. So that's volume at 104, depth at, and the depth at 82, and everything we leave as it is. So then we go over to the sound tab. Now this is interesting, we turn the brightness right down to minus 26. Um, really taking off the top head of the piano because we've got a flute for the second voice. So it kind of replaces that. Harmonic content we put up to 10. Attack we've just put at 1. Um, decay at 25. Release at 26. Um, leaving, which means that the, the piano will kind of ring out for a little while after you after you play it, which is a nice touch. Then to the effects slash EQ page, uh, we actually haven't done anything here. Um, you can use the DSP if you like, but again, if it's anything over about 30, uh, it leaves a bit of an echo, which personally I didn't feel was suited for these voice combinations. So we've left this page as it is. So not a lot going on here. So if we back out and then we go to our layered voice. Now the layered voice is not the warm ground. <laughs> That's my me pressing the wrong button. So what it is, the layered voice, we've got the orchestral flute. So mine's pre-saved here, but you can find it if you go to Brass and Woodwind. And then scroll through, and it's here on the first page, second one down on the second column there, just underneath saxophone. So you head into that. And mine's already saved, so let's go there. Da, da, da. Voice set. Okay, so from the first page, common, we've got the volume at 88, depth at 91, offset we left at 64 again. The left is already set two octaves higher, um, but don't worry too much about that because we can't change that setting anyway. Yam Yamaha um, have left that as a default. And the main slash layer we've left at zero as well because the flute already plays, obviously, um, in the higher octaves. So that's what this voice is going to be suited for. So to the sound category, we've got the brightness at eight, harmonic content at 19. The attack we've turned right down to minus 19 because we wanted a nice, abrupt, sharp uh, sound to it. The decay we've lifted up to 50 the release at 19. And then if we go to effect slash EQ, we've turned the reverb up to 32. We've left the chorus depth as it were, and then we've turned DSP on, putting it up at 35, which is just enough uh, where there wouldn't be an echo. But it sounds very nice. So you wanna save that, just as, we, as we've already done. Call it what you like. And then that'll be it, and you'll have it saved. Warm Grand is the main voice, orchestral flute is the layered voice. And there we go. So this voice, this third voice combination, I feel it has a really soft approach to it. Um, it sounds very nice and warm, believe it or not, because we're using the Warm Grand with the orchestral flute. And uh, there's one piece in particular that I really wanted to try out when I made this voice, and it's called Forbidden Colors by Ryuchi Sakamoto. Um, so we're just gonna play the first part, but obviously this is a, there's a flute as the layered voice, so playing things right at the bass, right at the low end of the piano, you won't be able to hear that flute as clearly, but when playing the higher end stuff, it really comes out nicely. And particularly in the mid section, it sounds beautiful as well. So have a listen to this. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's been my top three favorite piano voices. I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought. Um, and I hope this inspires you to, with whatever keyboard you've got, to try and mess around with the settings to see what you can do. Lots of Yamaha's keyboards give you the ability to play two voices at once, which is great. Um, but yeah, have a try for yourself and let us know how you do. Thanks for watching. This has been Max at ePianos, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.